bruised ribs. Whedon gets the start. Third different time he has been put in that position after the 38-yard punt return. Whedon first and 10, looking deep, aims for Gordon with the catch. He got it. Working on the rookie, Dwayne Grunt. It's a 42-yard pickup. It's first and goal, Brown. I got to tell you, this is one heck of a throw by Brandon Whedon. Gordon continues the fight to get on top, and then watch as he works his way back to adjust to the throw. Whedon was under pressure. He cut it loose and put the ball in great position for Gordon to just barely get two feet in bounds for the reception. To move very well in the pocket, he's able to get this ball off even though he's under duress. Still able to deliver this ball off balance, but look, great ball placement, allowing Gordon to use that big frame to go over Dwayne Gratz to come down with it. And then he takes a hit. All dressed up for the holidays. Ready? Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with family and friends. Here's a first and 10 for Whedon. Outside for Gordon, working on the rookie Gratz, and he spins his way. Walking the tightrope, picks up a first down, pick up of 23 yards on the play to the 43. Well, Gordon has already beaten Gratz on a 42-yard deep ball. Now you can have the runoff and then the stop. Come back and look. He's able to get plenty of cushion, catch it underneath, and that's how you work one of your talented wide receivers if you're Brandon Wheaton. Evans was in, then left. Shoulder injury, we're told, may return third down and five for Brandon Wheaton. And right on the money and caught by Gordon. Hit by Paz Rosny. Grabbed on the play by Cyprian. A 21-yard pickup for Gordon, who's nearing now 100 yards here in the first half. That's a first down to the 47. What did Paul Puzlosny tell us? That these are long developing routes. Quarterback has to hold the football long in North Turner's offense. And look, it's a vertical threat and then just a curl in. High throw from Wheaton, but nonetheless, good enough for a completion to Gordon. They had to wait a while for that play to develop. 16 receptions of 20 yards or more, third best in the NFL for Gordon. From the 48, Obanaya is in and offers a block for Whedon. He strings it out. He looks for Gordon. The catch is made in front of Grotz. It's a pickup of four. He now has 95 yards receiving. He's down to the 47-yard line of Jacksonville. This is one of the top receivers, folks. In the NFL, look where he is in yards receiving per game. He is number five in total yards coming in, number two in yards per game, 110, number five uh, in terms of what he's done in receptions per catch. He's going to settle in. Third down and ten. Almost looks like Wheaton when he wasn't expecting that pass, but it goes for Gordon, who's got the ball, and a Cleveland Brown touchdown. He was working on Will Blackman, a 21-yard strike. Josh Gordon already over 100 yards receiving in this game, Kevin. Second, look at this. He's just going to do the out and up. He gets vertical on Blackman right away. And watch as he relaxes as the ball comes in. He doesn't clue in Blackman that the ball's coming. He relaxes then, reaches up for it at the final moment, contests for the ball, keep both feet in bounds. This guy's a phenomenal playmaker. Anticipation. Cut the ball loose before the receiver hits his mark. Second and five, Whedon. The catch by Gordon. Talked about it a little bit. Over 100 yards receiving today. Already hauled in six catches today for 125 yards. You get this one. Get up and run out of bounds. You don't have to get vertical. Understand situational football if you're Josh Gordon. However, they believe that they're still in it, Kevin. With a second down and 10, Brandon Wheaton out of Oklahoma State. And he's got Gordon, who is slippery and brought down by Cyprian and Hayes. 24-yard catch and run by Gordon for a first down. Now this ball is thrown well before Gordon. Look, as he comes out of the break, that ball is already cut loose. And that's what quarterbacks have to do is anticipate, trust the receiver is going to get to their landmarks and throw the ball early. Gordon rewards Wheaton. Come back into the ball game. Lining up against Grotz, second down and 11. Whedon, Gordon, Grotz shoves him out of bounds, but a first down to the 29, and a pickup of 10. What a day, he's had 159 through the end. Wasting no time going to Josh Gordon. It began early in the ball game with a 42-yard strike down the right side, and then getting him the football for a touchdown. This guy had over 100 yards early in the ball game and then took a hit.
here in the third quarter. Had to go in to be checked for concussion. And now he's back into the ball game. If you had 150 yards early in the game, you'd want back in too from this football team today. With a second down and 10. Going underneath, Gordon brought down by Allen with a shoestring tackle of the 37. Put speed guys out there now to block. Ah. <laughs> Just in case it's returned, what a, what a game last night with Auburn and Alabama. In the end zone for the, oh, it's caught by Gordon. He's over 200 yards. This has never happened back to back in the history of pro football. And he takes it 95. Can you believe it? He had 237 receiving yards last week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. This week, well over 295 yarder right there. Home run hitter, Kevin, is what we called him at the top of the game. He catches this one. It's a catch and run, and boy, this is biggest play of the day. The speed to run away from the defense for Josh Gordon.